Yo, what's up everybody, it's Fano here, working on some ideas in my living room, and I wanted to do a vlog thing. There's actually a few ideas I want to be talking about in the next few months or whatever. This one has been brewing a while. So um, today I want to be talking about workflow and how music is actually work, and why I hate the idea of motivation and, and how discipline is the, is the one. This is fairly unscripted, so I'll just lash out. My notes are there on my screen, so I'll, I'll be looking there for hints. This stems from a, quite a few conversations that I've had with my students and patrons. By the way, big thanks to everybody for supporting me through Patreon. It's definitely going really good. It's growing and uh, it's part of my living, so huge thanks. But um, yeah, I wanted to be talking about workflow and how to get work done. I'll just start. Let's do this. Um, music is work. A lot of times music is actually work. It's also fun, but there's also this part in making music that is, is less fun, I think. And to get music done, you sort of have to approach the, uh, the process of making music as work, because if you don't, you don't necessarily get things done in any music group on Facebook or whatever. If you see somebody ask like, guys, what's the biggest issue that you have? What's the biggest obstacle you got in making music within the first five replies will be somebody saying finishing songs. Everyone can start songs, but there's so fewer people out there who can actually finish songs. And this comes down to a certain way of thinking. I got some philosophy that I want to be sharing and let's dive into it. A lot of people start working when they lose their motivation. Where does motivation come from and how does it happen? I think motivation is something we all are very familiar with. We're often very motivated when we sort of decide to start doing something that's really good for us or that's really fun, like working an album, start an exercise program, lose weight or stuff like that. It feels really good when you start, you're telling everybody, announcing on social media or whatever that, yo, I got an al album in the works. I've started exercising. I got a new e lifestyle and it feels really good for a while. And you get really amped up. You get a lot of, a lot of energy out of that, but motivation feel, will actually drop. And then you're going to be questioning or well, maybe questioning what you're doing and it gets harder to do. I sort of hate motiv motivation. <laughs> I know this sound, sounds harsh, but bear with me. These days, I don't really rely on motivation. And that's one big thing I wanted to be talking about. My view on motivation is that motivation is a fickle bitch that will leave you the first chance it gets. So is that something you want to be re relying on? No, we're going to or I will suggest replacing motivation with discipline. So what's the big difference here? Discipline means that you're basically doing it no matter what. You're going to make an agreement with yourself where you hold yourself accountable for something. You have to, it's literally, it's almost like a making a contract with yourself. I will give you an example from my life. Um, this can absolutely apply to music and I have when it's needed, especially when I need to get an album made and finished. So here it comes. Um, it, this relates to me exercising, going to this outdoor gym that I really like. I've only been doing it for two years and only in the past year or six months or whatever, I've really started seeing results. And I've also learned to like the process. So what I did was I threw motivation out because, okay, let's start here. I used to be the guy that does it on a good day. That's motivation. Like I'm motivated. Yo, it feels good. I'm well rested. I feel good about it. Let's do this. I'm very motivated today to go exercise because it makes me lose fat and it's so good for me. But there will be days when you're like, oh man, I don't feel like it. I don't fucking, I want to do something else. I hate the thought of doing it. So that's motivation. And I just threw it out. And discipline is what gets things done. So I flipped it around. I used to be the guy that does that all that on a good day. So how often do you have good days? 
So I flipped it around. I don't rely on having those good motivated days. It's al it's almost like I you I had to have a reason to do it. And I flip it around and now I have to have a reason, a really good reason not to do it. And that to me is discipline. Like like I said, you make an agreement with yourself that you're going to do it no matter what. Like you you're going to exercise four or three times a week and you will do it. Like there is no ifs or buts. You have to have a really good reason not to do it. Those could be if you're actually sick, if you're, I don't know, if it's a really awful weather, if you're hungover. By the way, I did go to the outdoor gym through the whole winter. I did not love it, but I did love the fact that I did it and it just made me feel like a badass. I, I won't lie. So that's discipline and you can apply that to music. And you have to, the, the important thing is to keep things going. That's, that's really important. Like, don't let go. I'm sure many of you have started doing something like some sort of exercise program or like worked on an EP and little by little, you kind of let go of it. And do you just stop some, some, at some point you were at a place where you were not doing it anymore. So holding on to it is important that's uh it's a big understanding like uh, understanding that is a big thing like small steps are important and um even achieving big goals will take these small steps so appreciate these small steps be ready to take these small steps and they will take you closer to your goal for example you finish one song and that's going to be a part of an album and um also you can scale the intensity of the work you're doing in relation to your energy levels. But I'm saying like the bottom bottom line here is that you do it. For example, in going exercising, if you're really kind of fucked and tired and or let's say if you're feeling unmotivated, you will go and you will do what you can 20, 25 minutes, you do a little bit of something, but you go. It, the, the, the important thing is that you go. Like I said, I was going to this outdoor gym in the winter, which in the winter time in Finland is not always a beautiful, enjoyable thing, but I stuck to it. And it just, because it, it keeps up the vibe that, you know, I'm not quitting. So these small steps and also scaling your intensity or the length of the session, like if you're not super like feeling super hyped up to do it, you still do it. And this is the thing about working on songs as well. For example, that song in the background, uh, it's been, uh, it's not very far, but for example, um, I've had the concept in my head and it, last night I did the bass line. It's like one bar of bass line. I wasn't feeling that much, like I wasn't in the mood for making music, but I, cause I stick to it. I wanna, I gotta get that shit done. So I did the bass line. I even had the no concept or the notes or the sound for the bass line in my head. And last night, 15 minutes, I did the bass line, bass line for it. And that was it. It takes me closer to the goal, like the small steps. So like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but to, to achieve these big goals, small steps, often enough, not giving up, that's important. Everybody wants to be an artist, but not everybody is willing to go through all the uphill battles that it takes to to achieve the amount of work that it sort of allows you to say that I'm an artist, being consistent, getting music done. So focus is a big thing. Don't let go. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't rely on motivation. And by the way, I know I may sound kind of harsh. I admit I'm the type of person that is uh, accepting a lot of myself, but that's allowed me to reach many goals that are, have been important to me. But always ask yourself like what you will want to have achieved in one year from now and keep thinking of that. Like these small steps, you know, will take you closer to that goal. I think it was Nietzsche who said something like very loosely paraphrasing. I heard this over 10 years ago, but he said like, Imagine if you had to look at your life, like when you die, if you had to look at your life from a videotape, would you be proud of what you were doing? So would you be scrolling your phone and not working on that song 
Or would you be seeing yourself work on an album that earns you a few gigs and some beer money and sort of establishes you as an artist? One more thing, I, I can guarantee this will help. No refunds if it doesn't, but I can, I can guarantee it will. Everybody says this, and it's true. The biggest obstacle is to start. Well, I have a philosophy that I uh, live by when making music. If I'm, if I kind of know that I fucking have to, I have to work on that song. But I kind of there's some hurdles. But uh, I make myself start, and 30 minutes, I have to work on the song, and nothing else. No Wi-Fi, no internet, no emails, no bullshit, socials, none of that. 30 sol solid minutes to work on that song that you have on the go. And if you really do hate it, if you really feel like I want to quit this session, you are, are allowed to quit after 30 minutes. But that 30 minutes you have to put in solid work, not dicking around, you know, do whatever it takes. Work on, like I said, I did that baseline. And the thing is, uh, I'm sure there's a scientific basis for this, but our brains take some time to warm up and get to the zone. So especially after a work day, you've been doing whatever work, you're not feeling creative because your brain is not, not in that state. It, I'm sure that 30 minutes is vital or whatever amount of time to sort of warm up. It's literally like warming up before exercising and something. So that 30 minutes is like warming up for the session. And I swear, I don't think it's literally happened once that I've started a session and after 30 minutes been like, nah, I quit. It really works. Like stick to that try because you will often find that, yo, I actually like it. I'm so glad that I started and now the song is going somewhere. So, so yeah, that's it. Very preachy, but I don't know. Uh, this is an important topic for me. I've been making music for 31 years, if I recall correctly, not that it matters, but like I've always been making music and I'm still trying to learn. I'm still trying to kind of do this thought process, like what helps me. It's not like I said, the whole point is it's not always easy. It's not always fun, but I still want what's at the end of the rainbow. Like if I put the work in and that's the one thing I wanted to be talking about. I hope it helps uh, for more music stuff. There's plenty on my Patreon to roam. Leave a comment. Till the next time. What? What's the end? What? What? Yeah, not going great. Fucking uh, <laughs> fucking blooper reel. That is some shit. So fucking. <laughs> till the next time. Till the next time. <laughs> Funnel here. Straight out of the living room. Fuck. Till the next time.